Teens Sassy Sirens and I am back with yet another video, a video that I know is a bit late. <laughs> late, but better late than never, right? Anywho, so with the cups in front of you, hopefully you can see all of them in your view. If not, we're going to go through them one by one anyway, so don't worry. These cups are part of the Starbucks Summer 1 2021 cup collection and I got quite a few because a lot of them are gorgeous. There's a few cups I didn't get and I'll talk to you about those cups and why I did not get those cups. We will start right in front of us with the grid cups. So these are two cups that are, are very much so different colors and it's easier to see in person because I know I found myself very, very confused of what the cups were. So this grid cup is a pink and berry where the, the berry starts at the top, it goes pink in the middle and then gets dark berry at the bottom. This one very much so resembles cotton candy where it's blue at the top and then it gets pink. And then you see the blue, let me try to spin it, the blue throughout the cup when you go around it. So this is very much so reminds me of cotton candy. So I'd probably call this the cotton candy grid cup. The both of these cups were $19.95 a piece and they work gorgeously with my other grid cup collections. This does not look like the holiday 2020 berry cup. So if any of you guys are worried about that, this does not look like that. That cup is absolutely like a um, arbergé color is what I think they would call that one. And this is very much so a raspberry um, pink and, and purple cups. They do not look anything alike. So I would suggest getting both of these because they are gorgeous. The next cup that I have on display here actually was not a part of Summer One. This cup was a part of the 50th anniversary collection. I was not able to find this cup when 50th anniversary came out. So it surprised me that when I was going to stores to get Summer One, you saw a lot of stores actually had this cup out. So I thought that was a bit interesting. It's $16.95. It's not normally the size that I get because it's a grande and I'm a vente cup uh, kind of girl but it's glass and it's just it's it's simplistically pretty so again this is part of the 50th anniversary collection I did not I was not able to find it during that season but I saw quite a few of these um, in stores during the summer 2021 collection so I picked it up and then moving right along to some other glass cups that we saw, um, as you guys know, I talked about in another video that I'm becoming more obsessed with these kind of, um, there, the, this one is an insulated one, but, and this one's actually glass. So this one you have to be super, super careful with. You see the tag on it and I haven't even used it yet because I'm just nervous because one, it's very pretty, but then it's all glass. So it's like this blush pink um, color. Hopefully you can see it in the camera and the lighting is it throwing it off. And then the top is this purple kind of unicornish color. But this is one of my favorite pieces in this entire collection. Um, if you had to ask me to, to choose my top three, this would definitely be in the top three. Next is this very much so Tiffany's blue insulated cup that is just gorgeous. So just to give you prices, this is $22.95 and this is $24.95. As I've talked about in some of my other insulated videos, um, these cups are a bit more expensive. So I don't always go gaga over them because they're costly so it also has to be a cup that just looks so gorgeous if i'm gonna buy it and these two i actually bought them at the same time they're on the shelf right next to each other and my mind was just going through some things when when i got it um i have used this twice and i will say it has gotten scratched up so I, this has two very noticeable scratches on it. So I am very disappointed in that. Um, one, because I'm going to have to buy it again because the scratches are so, you know, hopefully you can see it. It's so noticeable. Um, and in my mind, I'm like, why would you buy it again if you know that it could get scratched up? But it's because it's just, it's so gorgeous. 
so maybe I'll buy it again that'll be a part of the collection kind of on the wall and this will be the one that I will you know if I'm going for a long walk I'll carry this one with me and keep the other one kind of protected because it is super super pretty so enough about these uh, but as you can see I'm so excited about them I'm going to also talk about this glass water bottle because this is a part of that glass collection as well. It looks like Starbucks is trying to get back into doing the glass. Um, it looks like, I mean, my vibe from being in stores and being a collector for a number of years, it feels like they were getting away from the glass water bottle, probably because they, if you drop it, kaput, it's done, it's broken, right? Whereas if you drop this that's a little bit different. So this is something you would take if you're working out. These these glass ones are more like, you know, you're sipping from a straw at your desk at work, right? You're not walking around with these glass ones just because it makes it too easy for you to slip, drop, crack it, or anything of that nature. This one was $22.95. And yes, the sizes are different. This is 20 fill ounces, and I think this is 24 fill ounces, but I have to guess. Oh no, 22. Wait, what? Oh yeah, okay, that makes sense. 20 and then 22 fill ounces. But these, this little trio over here is a trio of attractiveness, attractiveness if I had to say so myself. So, keeping right along, Another one of the Ventite cups I got. Um, I actually did not get this. A friend of mine um, saw it in, in a store where they live and they bought it and sent it to me, which I was very appreciative of because I did not see this in, in stores that I was going in. And there is a double wall that, and you guys know I like the matching set. So I did get the double wall that was easy to get. Um, I did not see the cold cup in store. So when she asked me if I wanted her to get me this one, I said, of course, because I needed to have a set. I need a set. I need a set. Um, and standard double wall price of $19.95. And $19.95 is what this cold cup costs. Now, someone did ask me, because I said in a video that you can find out what year the double one came out by looking at the bottom and they asked me if that was the case with cold cups as well and I don't think so oh no yes you can't hear this copyright 2020 so yeah if you you look at the bottom um which is weird because it came out in 2021 but maybe they made it 2020 who knows um it at least gives you an idea of when the the cup would have come out so yes you can see that on the bottom of cold cups as well for my, um, one of my guests that asked about that in one of the comments. And I'm wondering if maybe they're just now doing that for cold cups. I will have to dig out a cold cup from years ago and see if that's the case as well. Um, and I'll, I'll check and I'll let you know in another video if that's the case. I gotta be careful with my double wall because um, I don't want that to slip off the table and, and crack. So the next, these stainless steel, I'm sitting on my leg guys and it's, it's getting tired, <laughs> um, is this stainless steel blue purple ombre situation that is just like, of course you're going to buy this. Why would you not buy this? It's just, it's so pretty. $24.95, of course, because it's stainless steel. So, so it makes it a little bit more expensive because it's not like, you know, these cups that are really just a piece of paper that they fold inside the cup and seal. That's what these are. The stainless steel ones are actually made from stainless steel. So it makes it a little bit more expensive. I was on the fence about this one. I don't know what was throwing me off. I think when you look at it, you would think... The silhouette would be like, yeah, it's so different. Of course you should get it. And I was like, eh, I don't really know. So I, I got it because I said I would rather have it in my collection um, than not have it in my collection and be like, oh man, I wish I would have got that cup. So I haven't, I haven't carried most of these cups yet um, either. So I think once I carry them, maybe I'll feel a, a different way, a sense of enthusiasm about the cup, if you will. Um, again, both of these stainless steel cups are $24.95. So again, lean a little bit on the pricier side when it comes to cold cups. 
There is a double wall in the front here. Let me be careful. If I remember, this might have actually truly come out as the Mother's Day Starbucks double wall, I think. Um, in the comments, correct me if, if, if I'm wrong, but I thought that's what this cup was. And I got to tell you, compared to the one I saw, I think, two years ago, this one is not... I, 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 why is it a Mother's Day cup? Like, what? what is... Is it because the flowers or whatnot? I, I don't know. I, I don't get it. I'm, I'm not... You know, we got two double walls this season. I, I really could have enjoyed more. Um, there was... A couple other double walls that were meant to be these like colors that were like orange and green and it just it was a no for me like the color co combination was just a flat-out no so I kept those on the on the shelf because they were not only were they not screaming buy me buy me they were screaming these are not it this it Starbucks once again phoning it in is what those cups were saying to me so I left them where they were um, Let's see what else I have over here as I kind of try to get my face into view on the camera. It's hard because there's so many cups. Um, let's see, maybe. So there was a Starbucks Stan or Stanley collaboration that was created. So I got this vacuum cup. It's called a stainless steel vacuum tumbler and it's 12, 12 fill ounces. Um, it reminds me again of 50th anniversary because 50th anniversary was very much so this mint green was, was prominent. So that's why I got this one. And also it's a stainless steel or st uh, Stanley collaboration. You guys know I love a good collabo cup. Um, and you know, it's just going to keep your coffee super, super hot for a really, really long time because it's, I mean, it's Stanley. I mean, come on. That's what Stanley's known for. So this really probably should have come out 50th anniversary and maybe it did and I just didn't see it and it was on the shelf this go around but none of this does not scream summer one for starters it's a hot cup for <laughs> camping so this just did not scream summer at all so maybe this was originally 50th anniversary and the store I was at got it late I, I don't know um nonetheless I had to pick it up so let's go look at our, our kaleidoscope cups. You guys know I did a video and I said, look, um, so I went to the kaleidoscope cups during like a spring or summer a couple of years ago. And I said, this cup is going to be the new shape. Like I just knew it right away that Starbucks was going to really blow that shape up. Um, similar to the grid cups where it was like, look, we're going to see so many cups that come out in, in, in just different colors in the style. So we're going to first start with the Target Pride Exclusive. There was also a studded Pride Cup this year. I did not get that one because the one from last year is a hundred times better than the one from this year. This cup was all over Target. You could see shelves and shelves and shelves and shelves of it. I have to say I'm very underwhelmed by it, if I have to be honest. The Starbucks Pride collection from last year in 2020 was way better. I mean, a hundred times better than what we saw this year. I, um, I got it to, you know, have it in my Pride collection. But um, I will tell folks, if you did not get your hands on this cup, this is not one of the cups I would suggest you go to the, the resale market and spend a bunch of money on. Do not go to eBay and Poshmark and spend 30, 40 bucks on this cup. It is just, it's not worth it. It really is not. So that is my call to you. Do not go to the after sale market and spend 20, 30, or spend 30, 40 dollars on this cup because it's just, it just isn't worth it. Okay. The other, I mean, the straw is gorgeous. I probably should have highlighted the straw a little bit more because that is super pretty. And Starbucks should have sold some of these straws extra because that would have been really, really nice. But outside of the straw, this cup is very much so underwhelming, in my opinion. Now, going to the other kaleidoscope cups. The blue, this is very iridescent, very see-through, uh, uh, very much so look at me, look at me, look at me cup. So I, I looked at it, looked at it, and picked it up and bought it because it was super, super cute. Um, it does pale in comparison to its pink counterpart. Okay, so it's really hard to see with the, the lighting. I can't get it just right. But this pink, can I tell you, as a person who whose pink is 
my favorite color like I will tell you that this is where it is at if you if you are going to buy a cup in the off market and pay double the price for it this one is absolutely worth it okay because it is gorgeous it reminds me of that spring 2020 matte pink studded cup y'all know which cup i'm talking about i should have pulled mine out for this video but um and everybody is paying ridiculous amount of money for that on the on the off market you'll see that cup today people are, are like 20 bucks and people are paying for it because that cup is gorgeous and i will tell you right now if you have the opportunity to get that cup pay for it uh, you guys know me i will tell you in harvey do not pay a hundred dollars for a cup but that cup the matte pink studded 2020 march if you can find it buy it you, you won't regret it anywho back to this program so that's what this cup reminds me of is that matte pink studded one this is gorgeous and this the lighting on here on this camera is not doing it justice and i can't seem to get the angle just right so i apologize um, this is another one of the top three cups for me. Um, I would say probably these three right here are the top three from the entire collection. Um, I was able to find all of these in a Starbucks store, either myself or a friend found it and shipped it to me, except for this one. I have been in many a Starbucks stores and I have not seen this one. So this one I did purchase from eBay. The, um, Lister listed it for $32 so shout out to that person for not trying to to make it where it's it's just completely triple the price so good job to them um it was a make make an offer thing so I put in an offer actually for $20 they put 25 and then I said 21 and then they accepted that offer this cup was originally $19.95 and I paid $21 for it on eBay no shipping and of course I still had to pay tax because I'm a, um, a tax state so um, what actually helped me was eBay had sent me a five dollar uh, credit off of any purchase so that I used that on this so by the time I got done paying for it um, with tax I think I paid eighteen dollars for it so I actually got it for cheaper than had I bought it in an actual store because this is 1995 and the state um, I live in has a 10.25 percent tax rate so I actually got it cheaper by buying it on eBay so this is the only thing I had to buy on the on the um, the off seller market everything else I was able to get in a store so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video hopefully you had a great time searching for your starbucks cups i know here in chicago it was the opening day was very underwhelming because most standalone stores did not have their cups yet so the only stores that had their cups were the the um kind of branded stores or inside of jewels and targets and pub um pub Publix? Is that the name? Is that how you pronounce that? I don't know how you pronounce that. We don't have that store here. But um, the Starbucks stores that were in those locations got their cups on the opening day, but freestanding Starbucks stores did not. So I started seeing more of the expansive collection in stores maybe two weeks after the official launch day. Um, and you can still find a lot of these cups in stores. So um, please avoid buying things on the, the off seller market um, because you can still walk into a Starbucks store and find a majority of these cups except for this pink cup. Um, this is one that I would say if you can't find it, which you probably won't, buy it on the off market, right? But just find one that's a reasonable price. So if you are enjoying these videos, please like give me a thumbs up, subscribe, um, drop me a comment. What was your top three favorite cups in this collection? Um, and if you really had to choose one cup that if you didn't get, you wouldn't lose any sleep, which one would it be? Because I would say if I didn't get this cup and maybe this cup, <laughs> I would not have lost any sleep um, if I if I wasn't able to find those cups. Um, they're probably the at the bottom of my my list of favorites from the top up. So um, until the next time, stay sassy.